Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you some more spoiler coverage from the Vingulf 2 Valkyria Chronicles set. Uh, today we're going to be talking about water. Um, oddly enough, uh, the water ruler is also Alicia, even though the light ruler was. She has like the exact same effect of, uh, you know, she gets a reduced judgment cost based on number of squad 7 events you control. But uh, this one actually flips over into Alicia as a Valkyrie, which is pretty sweet. Um, and says when it returns, uh, enters your field, uh, return target resonator to its owner's hand. And when it enters your field, you can put an addition J slash resonator from your hand to this card. So that's pretty awesome, especially with stats of 8-8 eight, eight, and when you look at her lance, which is uh, she added J slash resonator, gains plus 4, plus 4. And if it's Alicia, it gains flying. So right off the gate, uh, she can be a 12-12 with flying. And whenever damage is dealt to the added J slash resonator, you get to draw a card. So draw power plus a flying powerhouse is pretty strong. I'm a fan of it. So then we have the Regalia, the Edelweiss, the tank. Uh, you can pay two less to play Judgment abilities, and you can banish it to give all your squad seven a plus four plus four to the end of the turn, uh, but you have to have a J ruler. So it's kind of like a, a finishing move if you've got Alicia kind of out to lead the charge. So that's pretty cool. It goes really well with the theme in the game. And we have the Carefree 3. It is a 4 drop uh, spell chant. Uh, it says draw 3 cards. So giant text box, only a little bit of card. So that's pretty good. 4 cost for 3 cards uh, is not bad. I think for the 4 cost it should have been instant speed though, but that's just me. Then we have Rosie. Uh, so she's a 2 drop 7-7, seven, seven, but the downside is whenever she blocks or is blocked, she gets minus 3, minus 3. So when she... She's really, really strong on her own, but if there's anything in her way or she tries to get anything in her way, she gets really weak. So, it's not too bad. Then we have Isara, who's a 1-drop. This card is really, actually, really good. 1-drop, uh, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, when she enters the field, the top 4 cards of your main deck. You get Welkin, you get one of them. You can put it into your hand. Um, so you, you get to look at them, and you don't have to reveal anything unless you see, show Gunther or Welkin and then put the rest on the bottom of your main deck and then you can banish her to draw a card so she essentially is a two for one uh, in terms of draw power and consistency so that's really really good then welkin is a three cost seven seven when he enters your field you can return target resonator to a thunder's hand if you control less less resonators so if you're behind you just play welkin and bounce them all back uh, and make some pretty big moves that kind of reposition the board to your sake because there's no kind of a requirement to what he can b bounce um, you just have to have less resonators than your opponent so he can potentially deal with a really large threat for free and then last we have Zaka who's also a three drop uh, and he gets to search you Edelweiss put it into your hand and then shuffle your main deck if he's just a six six for three so these are honestly much better than the light cards that we got for squad seven I'm very excited to see what comes out of it but why don't you guys let me know in the comment sections down below Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, this is DMO73, signing off.